Ubisoft has 10 plus Assassin's Creed games in development right now, with this year's release being Assassin's Creed Red alongside the Infinity Hub, which will seemingly act like the hub for nearly all future Assassin's Creed games. Assassin's Creed Red seems to be the next major open world Assassin's Creed game being set in ancient feudal Japan. And it's crazy that alongside this game, Assassin's Creed Nexus, the VR game, and Assassin's Creed Jade Mobile are also in production, as well as Assassin's Creed Codename Hexe also being in pre-production alongside Assassin's Creed Codename Invictus which is going to be an Assassin's Creed multiplayer game. And those are just the titles in the near future, but this year the spotlight should be focused on Assassin's Creed Red. And the game will also be exclusive to current gen consoles being Xbox Series X and S and the PlayStation 5 and PC. Another console that this game could be optimized for is of course the PlayStation 5 Pro which is going to seemingly be released at the end of 2024. So expect Assassin's Creed Red to get enhancements for that new system too. And on the Xbox side we could be getting that new Xbox controller. This controller supports Bluetooth 5.2 but a major feature is haptic feedback. So we could be experiencing Assassin's Creed Red with haptic feedback on both PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. But it also seems that the Xbox won't be getting a mid-gen enhancement system like an Xbox Series X Pro, so expect mid-gen enhancements exclusively to the PlayStation 5 Pro. Now we have got some leaks in regards to what Assassin's Creed Red is going to be in terms of a story setting and its characters, as well as some gameplay elements. However, I'm going to be giving all that information its own video, so go ahead and subscribe and please like the video so it reaches more Assassin's Creed fans. But what I will say is that the leaks suggest that the game is set to launch in late 2024, as said by insider gaming. Now all we have from the game so far is a cinematic tease from the Infinity trailers. However, the conferences, PAX and GDC will be held in March 2024, so Ubisoft could make some kind of appearance there. However, my bet is that Ubisoft will do a Ubisoft Forward event, hopefully before the summer season. This will allow them to introduce the Infinity system and the Assassin's Creed Red game to the world. They could also wait till the summertime and announce it at Summer Game Fest, or hold another Ubisoft Forward event then, or they could even hold an Assassin's Assassin's Creed event which they did last year. Now I do want to mention the slate for 2024 so far from Ubisoft which they have Prince of Persia The Lost Crown which is just released on January the 18th, Skull and Bones on February 16th, Invincible Garden of the Globe which is a mobile game releasing in February, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Mobile releasing in March, Tom Clancy's The Division Resurgence releasing in early 2024 and of course one of their biggest blockbusters coming out this year the first ever open world Star Wars game Star Wars Outlaws to be released sometime in 2024 too. Now again Ubisoft hasn't officially stated that the game Assassin's Creed Red will be coming in 2024 however that release date was heavily hinted at through rumors and leaks. So if Assassin's Creed Red does come out this year that would be two very highly anticipated open world games from Ubisoft and that will also be coming off Avatar Frontiers of Pandora which got okay reviews and a lot of people likened that to the Far Cry series. I really do hope that Assassin's Creed Red offers something very uniquely different from past Ubisoft titles and I really want these games to be 8, 9, 10 out of 10. But looking back at Ubisoft over the last 5 to 10 years, it seems like their strategy is to release 6 to 7 out of 10 games on a consistent basis. And although the games are massive and they look beautiful, they get old very, very quickly and they get heavily discounted within the month. People just fall off them and they just don't talk about the games anymore. Whereas to this day, people still talk about the Ezio trilogy, they still talk about Splinter Cell, and they still talk about the Ghost recon games of the past. However, Assassin's Creed Red could be delayed into 2025, but going into 2025 they would have to find out when GTA 6 is releasing and have AC Red release way before it or after it. But Assassin's Creed Red has been in development for a long time and plans for this Infinity system is very exciting to me and they've had a lot of time to study Ghost of Tsushima and my hopes are that the combat is very similar to that game. And although I found Ghost of Tsushima to be very boring, I was absolutely amazed and loved the combat in that game. So I would really want that kind of translated and if anything should be better than Ghost of Tsushima in Assassin's Creed Red as they should be striving to make this game better than a game released in 2020. A lot of people also pointed out that For Honor had some amazing combat. That was also a Ubisoft game which also included the samurai class that had the subclasses of Kyoshin, Kensei, Shinobi, Orochi, Shugoki, Hitokiri, Aramusha and Nobushi. So 
that maybe they can look back to For Honor and have some of those classes and fighting styles in this game. And because we should be getting samurai, ninjas, and shinobis in this game, the parkour system better be in this game to its most ultimate level and its finest form. But there is no excuse for us not to be running around the, the rooftops of ancient feudal Japan. If the parkour, the combat is underwhelming in this game, then for me it's going to be another huge miss from Ubisoft and it will not be a good start to a new era of Assassin's Creed games. Out of the new trilogy, I only played Assassin's Creed Valhalla and I absolutely found it a bore, so I'm already a bit skeptical about Assassin's Creed Red, but I'm still very excited and I highly anticipate the game and I cannot wait for the new trailers and our first look at the gameplay hopefully should be coming sometime soon, hopefully within the first quarter of 2024 and I will be making a breakdown of all the leaks and rumours of the game so far, so stay tuned for that and like the video please and I want to say thank you for 10,000 subscribers, we talk about a lot of amazing games on this channel from the last of us part 3 to the next Ghost Recon game, two upcoming Star Wars games and of course now Assassin's Creed. We also talk about Insomniac games from the next Spider-Man game, Venom, Wolverine and so much more so if you like that kind of stuff and you want to talk more about the PlayStation 5, PlayStation 5 Pro, the next Xbox, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and be a part of the 10,000 people that have subscribed to the channel which I am very very grateful for. Guys thank you so much for watching this video, peace out, God bless and I'll see you in my next videos. Take care guys. <clears throat> In my veins, I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks